Hey guys, another video here with the Going Tiny project. I've just hooked up my water system, um, which is part of the plumbing system. I'm basically doing an RV system. Um, I have the 160 gallon tank here made locally to me in Utah by waterprepared.com. Um, they're really good about giving me a good deal um, because they're moving warehouses and uh, need them kind of out of their way, but just pretty impressed with them and their unique shape in the fact that they hold 160 gallons but it takes up less space than two 55 gallon drums um, so it does have two nozzles out um, the second one here is at the third of a tank full so most people would probably just draw from this one and then when they ran out they would then pull from the lower one so that way you know you have a reserve um, I plumbed them together as a Y just for that reason. I have it set up with them both open, not that it really matters in this testing phase. Um, but I think I'll probably do what they recommend in drawing off the top third or two thirds and leaving the bottom third as a reserve. Um, so I have a flow sure or sorry, sure flow RV water pump I got on Amazon for like $65. A sure flow, um, accumulator which basically prevents um, what's usually called hammering or when you turn on the water faucet you'll get a sudden surge and it'll kind of shake the water plumbing and just kind of rattle around and that's supposed to prevent that though the instructions on the water pump said you didn't need one um, it's only a $40 part and I fear I'd rather just have it than try to add it later um, that wouldn't be hard but I just would rather be done with it and then a sure flow um, water filter with removable screen down here um, and it just thumb screws off though I'm pulling from you know municipal water or treated water so I don't know if I really needed that but it said it voided warranty on the water pump if you didn't and it was a $15 part so I figured I'd just again do it right then hassle with errors later um, this is PEX tubing. I was planning to go with a different material, but it was just too hard to source. Um, and this PEX stuff is nice because you can just go down to the hardware store and get it. The only downside is they say you can do pretty good bends with it, but I'm just not finding that to be true. And it's 85 degrees out today, a little muggy here in Utah, and uh, it's just pretty stiff. I mean, here it is, a slack line just for testing, and it's pretty rigid holding itself up. Um, but I plugged it in just for a few seconds to see the water flow and it came out nice and steady and I'm really surprised how quiet that water pump is. Um, I'm going to plug it in for you now. It's kind of goofy because it's meant for long term, but I'm going to set down the camera here so you can look at the floor. Um, it's meant for long term use, so where it'll self pressurize and auto on and off, but I, uh, I don't have an end cap on it, so it'll just pressurize indefinitely. So here we go. So this is at three gallons a minute, theoretically. If I put my thumb over it, it's supposed to go to 55 PSI, and it clicked off just like it did. And I'm using a lot of arm strength to hold my thumb. So you can see, that was a true good burst. And that's an old motorcycle here that it squirted down pretty good. But I'll shut up so you can hear how quiet it is. So, and that's the hammering you hear, and that's what this accumulator is supposed to prevent. But it literally has a bicycle air valve on it, and uh, you have to adjust it to the pump PSI, and the default of the two is different, so I haven't set that up. But you can see, three gallons a minute, and that's drinking water right there. You can have a sip. It doesn't taste like plastic or anything. So water line it's gone down with the testing about an inch should make sense I mean I've had it running for a few minutes so it's probably killed uh, probably about 30 gallons out of that maybe a little less but I'm excited it works just as I planned and uh, I guess that's really it I got to drill through the wall I have one here just for the electrical and uh, drill through the wall for the pipes and start running them along hot and cold I'll put a T here and I'll have one that's cold, which is just going to be raw off the pump. And then the other line will go into a 
propane hot water heater that'll nestle here. By the way, this is the front of the trailer in case you didn't see the other video. So, alrighty, thanks again for everybody's support.